interesting. I think possibly some children's concerts where the children really, I could tell they were gen, well, children are always genuine. And so when they're enthusiastic, that's, that's a lovely moment. Um, yes, I mean, in terms of teachers, there was my teacher, Jane Cowan, my main teacher, and then there was Chandor Vague, the great, if sometimes difficult, Hungarian violinist, from whom I learned a lot. And then two people, thank goodness, are still with us. In fact, they're both hopefully involved in my birthday concert. Um, Kurtag, the composer, who's an absolute fanatical idealist, and I love him. And then Ferenc Radosh, who is this wonderful pianist who taught Andras Schiff, is also in my birthday concert. And he has x-ray vision into music, and that's always been very helpful. So I suppose, in terms of, anyway, of influences, but then I've had so many wonderful players I, I collaborate with all the time. I mean, like Joshua Bell, the violinist, Connie Shi, the pianist, Stephen Huff, the pianist, Olli Mustonen, the pianist, Taber Zimmerman, violist, people like that. Who, I like, they've sort of been um, regular markers in my career somehow. I don't think anybody who doesn't feel like doing social media should feel they have to do it, not at all. But if you sort of feel, I just have sort of little sentences come into my mind, I think, why don't I share them? So I do do Twitter. I'm not sure I'm proud of it, but I do enjoy it. I think it's very sad if a child is denied mu music. I mean, there's dangers in offering it if the teachers are boring. The teachers have to be inspired and inspiring. But if you do have a child fall in love with music, with great music at an early age, it'll help them from their whole lives. I mean, as I've often said, you don't get a child on the street, you know, beating up other gangs, selling drugs and humming Mozart. If a child is singing Mozart or whatever, that's a happy child. And um, unfortunately, not everybody's going to get the opportunity, and that's very sad. But actually, actively to deny the children is a bit like Hard Times by Charles Dickens, where all the education is completely practical and the, and the children grow up miserable. I mean, it is like that. The music and all the arts, just they, they fill a child's life with light. Well, music at my school, I did go, my main school was a very musical school, the City of London School. I was only there for four years, but um, that was very musical. So I can't say that teaching was always inspired, but, um, but, but I was getting inspiration from my family who were all musicians. And again, that's such a great thing for a family. If you, know, if you all play music, then you've got so much more in common than you can't drift apart. Like, I don't know of any musical symbol hardly any musical siblings drifting apart because you've got that, that bond. You, talk, you meet the same people, you, you react to the same things. You've always got so much to talk about and that's true for me and my sisters. Um, but also I was getting it from my great teacher, Jane Cowan. I was getting inspiration on a daily basis. I think I had six lessons a week at one point. Um, so I was very, very lucky in that way. But I think school, school should offer music and they should offer it as a pleasure and a, you know, a chance for the children to enjoy themselves. I can't say I've seen any effects so far for Brexit, but of course we're all a bit in fear and trembling. I have to get a visa every time I go to Germany. It's going to be a pain for me personally, but I think I don't think I'll be the one who really suffers. It's more players in orchestras and things who have permanent jobs in other European countries. They all feel very insecure. And that's such a pity because these orchestras, like our football teams, they just benefit so much from having, having people from other countries in them. I mean, you know, the sound of the orchestra changes and the atmosphere changes. It's great. I mean, music is an international language. It'd be terrible if we shrink it so that only people who from here can play over here.